see you. Well, we are really glad to welcome now someone who is closely monitoring the effect on Washington of the new Trump administration. He is Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, and he's going to be on hand as Trump tries to drain the swamp. Senator, it's great to see you. So this is a great massive, to on, great to be on the show as, with as you, you just saw Guy uh, explain with that time story, this is a massive clash of cultures. Washington that has no interest in being reformed, this new president who wants to drain the swamp. I got to wonder how many Republicans in leadership are on the side of the New York Times versus how many are on the side of Trump. Sincerely. Uh, I think almost every Republican in the Congress is on the side of Donald Trump. That's good to hear. Uh, especially when you pit them against the New York Times. Right. Look, uh, Donald Trump clearly ran on a change agenda, and yeah. that's what the American people have delivered. And I'm excited to get to work with the president-elect. I know most of my colleagues in the Congress are as well on delivering on the promises that we made on rebuilding our military, on replacing Obamacare with mm -hmm. a much better health care system, on building a wall and getting immigration under control. These are issues that are popular, and they helped Donald Trump win a big landslide in the Electoral yeah, they, College. Yeah, they sure did. The Speaker of the House, though, and people in his orbit are very concerned about entitlement reform, and I'm not mocking that at all. I think it's a legitimate math-based concern. Trump has basically made it very clear that he's not interested in that at all, and that most voters are not interested in mm -hmm. that either. I mean, that, at some point, those two worldviews are going to collide, no? Sure. I, I would say I agree with Senator McConnell on this matter. We have agreements within our party on the vast majority of issues and on those small areas where we might have some disagreements. We can work those out in private between ourselves. On Medicare and Social Security, Donald Trump, though, has said exactly what so many Republicans have said for years. We are going to keep the promises that we've made to America's seniors. Uh, right. Um, in the long term, though, in the eighth year of a Trump administration, Medicare will be approaching red ink in terms of its finances. So in the long term, we may have to reform those programs to make sure we can deliver those promises. But immediately, the most important thing we can do to get all of our government back on stable financial footing to reduce our deficit and to get the debt under control is to have a healthy growing economy, which we haven't had under the Obama administration. I believe we will have now. So uh, the Speaker of the House went on another network. He's talking to Jake Tapper. I happen to be watching. I took notes. He said, I want to, and I'm quoting, Put people's minds at ease, there will be no deportation force. I wonder what percentage of Trump's voters kind of want a deportation force. I mean, whose minds is he talking about? Well, you know, Donald Trump said last night on 60 Minutes that we're, he's going to focus on criminal aliens. And I think most Americans are, are shocked that our government isn't already focusing on criminal aliens. There may be 2 million, 3 million. Uh, that number is unknown. But if you're a criminal and you're not entitled to be in this country by law, then of course you shouldn't be here. You should be returned back to your country. Right. I didn't hear the speaker say that. Well, Donald Trump said that. Said Donald, went, Trump said Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump is the president, and Donald Trump's going to be in charge of immigration yes, policy that's, and that's law. that's true. Do you think they're on the same page, by the way, uh, on uh, immigration? Uh, on most issues, I do. Uh, on, on immigration, you know, Donald Trump ran not just on security and enforcement, which is important, but he also ran on reducing legal immigration, and we need to do that because... Yeah. People who work on their feet, on their feet, they work with their hands in this country, they haven't seen a pay raise in a long time. Yeah. And part of that is because legal immigration That's has right. been at such high levels and it's driven down wages and taken a lot of jobs. That's why Donald Trump ran pretty well with Hispanics compared to some past Republicans yes. as well. So I, I think that Donald Trump has got the right approach to immigration. You heard that some on 60 Minutes yep. last night. But that's one reason why he appealed to so many working voters all across the legal country. Legal immigration, that's the real debate. and that will. Yeah, legal immigration. You have to address legal yep. immigration in addition to illegal immigration. Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, thanks a lot for, for thanks, coming Thanks, Tucker. Glad to be on the inaugural Are you show. Kidding? We love it.